so and find a lot of mofos up in here. Try and invite everybody. At least I'll be trying, though. You know, some people be acting like they don't be getting no love on here. I invite everybody. And all right. Oh, snap. All right, man, I'm up in this piece. I, 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 go on. Yeah, man, I got this dog, man. It's getting on my nerves. Stop getting on my nerves, man. I, so, yeah, man. Oh, first, let me, let me wave at the people. Let me wave. I'm just going to go right in, man. I ain't even trying to go too hard. All right, so, <clears throat> y'all see what the title of this is right here? First of all, I'm down here in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, it's Tuesday, man. I hope, uh, you know, people getting a uh, they Tuesday grind on. You understand what I'm saying? Um, you know, the day after Martin Luther King Day. Uh, yeah, I'm not even going to go in about Martin Luther King. A lot of people, you know, may or may not know about what was going on with MLK. All I got to say is do some research on Martin Luther King, you know what I'm saying? Because he had a lot of people around him that were uh, some known communists. So I'm just going to leave it as that. Uh, there we go. See, man, I titled this man Chris Brown. Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, clearing Osama. And the uh, violation that happened on Facebook. So let's let's just jump right in, man. So Chris Brown, you know what I mean? Like I've been having discussions and talks on the social media with people that, uh, you know, talk about Chris Brown. Or not Chris Brown, but, uh, you know, all these discussions about R. Kelly, you know what I'm saying? Bill Cosby. Um, these were all people that, you know, yeah, they, they did some bad things, but let's get, let's be, let's be perfectly clear. A lot of this was not about the, um, violations that these people did towards other people. It was more about the control they were getting ready to try to have on this entertainment game. You understand what I'm saying? That's what it was more about. It was more about owning and controlling your own, uh, lanes and I, in your own in your own lanes, you know what I mean. So uh, here we go with Chris Brown. Now, if you don't know about Chris Brown and what's going on with Chris Breezy, he is one of the youngest people that have uh, been able to win as far as going to court and trying to own your own masters. You understand what I'm saying? So, so now Chris Brown owns his masters. You know what I'm saying? Which is his music. I tell people about people trying to get they control of their masters and they like, oh, he got a master's degree. No, nigga. No, 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 not a master's degree. You're trying to get control of your masters of music, which means that what you what you record and what you do, you know, what I mean, you may be a lot worse. Hold on. Hold on. All right. All right. All right. Come here. Sorry about that. Hold on. Yeah. Damn dog. All right. Come here. Come here. You ain't about to do nothing. Stop. That's nah, all good. He's doing all that wolfing. Sorry about that. Don't, hold on. All right. All right. Stop all that. You ain't about to do nothing. All right. Back to what I was saying. All right. So Chris Brown, he owns his masters, right? So he basically has a lot more control over his music, a lot more control of what he wants to do. And you know what I mean? I'm with that. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad Chris Brown got that. You know what I'm saying? Chris Brown been through a lot. And yes, Chris Brown is the king of R&B. Let's not get this twisted. And ain't no Jacquees, Jacquez, wherever this Negro name is, which the, he came and sing. 
Chris Brown do got some vocals, you understand? And he got music. So here comes a story, boom, like right, like clockwork of him in France and him supposedly and allegedly uh, raping a, a female. And I posted earlier and uh, someone put a comment. I'm not going to say who it was, but they put a comment saying you shouldn't get yourself in these positions and you should watch who you with. And I'm going to tell you, man, these entertainers or just people who are public figures, you got to understand, man, if you're at a real high level, man, you have people that will throw themselves at you every day. You understand what I'm saying? You have people that will throw themselves literally to your feet every day. And so I'm not saying that, you know what I mean? Chris Brown, I'm, it's, it, he seems like a smart dude. You understand what I'm saying? So after that thing with Rihanna, I mean, he almost lost his career after that. You know what I mean? He was able to pull himself together and able to put himself in a better uh, light publicly. And now you see, you know what I mean? He's trying to he's trying to reap the benefits off that. But when you have people out here, man, that are hungry, uh, you never know, man. You, I mean, people could be agents, man. And that, that's the thing. Like, I ain't with all no conspiracy. I ain't with the conspiracies and all that, man. People talk about conspiracy theory. Understand this. Look up the definition of conspiracy. Conspiracy means that I'm conspiring to say what I'm saying is real and blah, blah, blah. That ain't the case, man. You know what I mean? They've been trying to get Chris Brown for a while, you know what I mean? And, and I'm just glad that I'm hoping he got the right people around him. You understand what I'm saying? Because, you know, now now it's coming out. And now what's crazy is that when they put this on Facebook, they put this on Facebook like earlier today. You understand what I'm saying? They put it on the social media earlier today. You know what I mean? They had this nigga mug shot. They had everything from this dude. You know what I'm saying? And hours later, come to find out, now they talking about dropping the charges. <clears throat> and I'm pretty sure, you know what I mean? I'm pretty sure that all this was, was, was something that was bogus from the start. You know what I'm saying? And who, who knows? You know, Chris Brown could have people around him who he probably shouldn't have he could have people around him who could be setting them up you understand what i'm saying Th these are the times that we in this has been happening this ain't just with chris brown people have always been around other people and set people up you understand what i'm saying so if there's any lesson to be learned with this is that you know what i'm saying you gotta watch who's around you and you can't put yourselves in these bad positions and I'm glad Chris Brown got them masters, nigga. I'm glad. I'm glad, yo. I'm glad. You know what I'm saying? Because now, you know, and then you see people like T.I. who shares something on the social media about it, you know, you know, first him getting his masters of, you know, his music. And then now this happens. And, you know what I'm saying? It's like, man, things, things are getting crazy out here. You know what I mean? And we can start with the Me Too movement. We can start with that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, they getting they getting the they getting black men, but they ain't going after the Harvey Weinsteins. They ain't going after uh Kevin Spacey. They ain't going after none of these people who continuously violate people every single day and they're non black. You understand what I'm saying? So the Me Too movement is 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 not it's 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 a it's a it's something that's a target, but it seems that like it looked like they just targeting black men. You understand what I'm saying? Straight black men. And yeah, they violate they going after people who are violators and predators. Yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it means for a group to sit really unlawful or humble. But you know what I'm saying? When it comes to like when it comes to actually conspiring, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? That means that, you know what I mean? You you thought that what you saying, like when it comes to conspiracy theories, you understand what I'm saying? You have people that will tell you or you look it up, man. It means to like the thought of or co-signing of or things like that. I'm not disagreeing with you at all. But you know what I'm saying? It's like I don't I don't go for the conspiracy theories, man. You know what I mean? There, there's a there's levels to this. You know, you either are in the now or in the no or, or you not. You know what I'm saying? Either you know what's going on or you don't know. Either you you stand by what you say or you fall for, you know what I'm saying, anything, believing in anything. I, don't, I believe half of what they put out there. You understand what I'm saying? You have to do your own due diligence and do your homework. 
All right. So, you know, shout out to Chris Brown, man. You know, I hope he has the right people around him. You know what I mean? I hope he can, continues to put out good music. And I hope he continues to, you know, control his music. You understand? So, shout out to that, brother. Second thing. So, I'm looking on Yahoo. I'm going down my timeline. I'm going down my timeline. I got you. I got you. I'm not, I'm not, you know, maybe I misspoke. There we go. Boom. Got the, got the definition right there. Moving on right quick. So, I'm look, I'm going down my timeline. I'm looking at Yahoo. Hold on, there's a plane going by. Yeah, and they be loud, they be loud and low down here. Scrolling down my timeline. I see on my timeline, man, they got an article put out talking about the CIA is apologizing, saying that Osama bin Laden has something to do with 9-11, and he did not. Now, go look this up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Go look it up. Go look this up. CIA is coming out and apologizing for Osama bin Laden having nothing to do with 9-11. If you anybody of some for real consciousness, man, and you understand and you've seen how even when you, if you was old enough to even be around that situation. I'm still trying to figure out, man, how is it that Osama bin Laden was someone of, of, of who they were looking for? And they had like they couldn't find him. Osama bin Laden was 6'4 to 6'5 inches tall with two dialysis machines this nigga had dialysis machines because he had a kidney disease and you got people out here that really believe that osama bin laden has something to do with bringing down buildings and now they coming out and apologizing saying that he had nothing to do with it ain't that some shit now who now who's conspiracy theory who who's conspiring for that man for those that don't that did that even believe that Osama bin Laden has something to do with it please explain to me man how can you not miss a 6 4 to 6 5 inches tall dude with a dialysis machine in caves nigga someone someone riddle me that somebody uh, give me to understand that man how do you find how does that slip through the cracks I remember when 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 they start talking about they had Osama bin Laden at Bora Bora and they could have took him down at Bora Bora and they didn't and this and that and then they showed this dude they kill him and then threw him in some water like come on man and then you look at documentaries out here that show the relationships between the bin Ladens and the Bushes you understand what I'm saying they had they had relationships dealing with with oil and money. Osama bin Laden was the Osama fall guy. You understand what I'm saying? He was the blamer. He was the one that got blamed for 9-11. When Osama bin Laden, from my, from my research, was already dead, man. Ben, Osama been dead. You understand what I'm saying? He ain't bin Laden. Osama been dead. The nigga was 6'4 to 6'5 with dialysis machine because he had a kidney disease. that had the life expectancy of you know what i'm saying someone who was not going to live very long you understand what i'm saying so you know they come out man they do these things and then what they do is they either pardon somebody or they apologize i mean you just look at martin luther king day yesterday you understand what i'm saying they they, they the, the government came out and apologized because they said that they had something to do with him be, being killed when nobody outraging when no me too's when no None of that shit, man. You understand what I'm saying? And so, you know what I mean? When, when, when they... Hold on a second. Another plane. Let me wave at some of these people, man. Let me wave back. I see you, Quinn. What's up, brother? I ain't got no problems with you, my easy. You know what I'm saying? We was just having a little misunderstanding, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no problems with, with 
with my people like that, man. You know what I'm saying? We be, we, we professionals. But uh, yeah. So you know what I mean? That they they do things like this, man. Especially if you're someone who has some type of knowledge or some type of um, influence. You understand? Um, they'll take you out and then they'll apologize and no, and they'll wait for years to go by and they won't say nothing. And then when they when they feel the right time, they'll come out and apologize, which is whack. But you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Third thing. So, you know, anytime there's anytime on on social media, man, especially Facebook, um, you'll get messages, especially if you're from Naptown, you know what I mean, Indianapolis. You'll get messages, man, and you'll get messages saying you know, hey, I watched the clip, and if anybody shares that clip on my page, I'm blocking you. That is some boo ish. And then you be, man, you don't know what's going on, so you be like, what clip? What clip, man? It, it you know, it, I'm telling you, man, we so we so far gone mentally that when it comes to clips and stuff that they share on Facebook or on any other social media, it's like our minds are automatically programmed to, you know, let's see the clip. Let's see the clip. Let's see the clip. Let's see what the clip about. And I mean, it could be it could be anything. It could be anything. It can be it could be something gay. It could be someone being raped. It could be someone being brutally attacked. And people will still try to find that link, yo. I mean, somebody tell me am I lying or not? Let's say I uh, Osama was there. That's what I'm talking about. My brother wrote a hope and definitely how gold will very good. Well, the American people, you know, a lot of us act like guinea pigs. A lot of us act like some controlled people. And it ain't just black people, it's just people, period. You know what I mean? Anytime you at a school or anytime you at a game and you know, you at you anywhere and they'd be like, you know, you could be working at a school and I can tell you right now. They'll stop and be like, uh, please stop what you're doing and put your hand on your heart. And let's say the Pledge of Allegiance. And everybody's like, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. That's that zombie-ish right there, man. That's that zombie-ish. You know what I'm saying? Or you be at a um, park watching a game, sports game, and remove your hats and please stand for the singing of the national anthem and then everybody's like oh say can and they got their hands on their heart that's zombie ish man zombieism you understand what i'm saying so that's where we at with that man that the american people are very gullible man very naive like very like like the american people believe anything that they see in front of their face if it's white zaddy giving them the information yeah i said it a lot of people believe white zaddy. They believe these these European entities that put out information. And until you find out the real information, then you know what I'm saying? You being misled. Everything they put out there in front of your face is probably half true, half not. You have to be able to be in tune and find out what you do. Ah! 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 Hold on. As dog. So this gets me to my next story, man. So I'm looking on the social media. I'm looking on Facebook. And they got this video clip, man. They got this video clip. They got this video clip of this uh, uh, of people sharing, talking about it all day. And it's like, man, they be playing this game where, you know what I mean, they, they do experiments, man. Everything's almost an experiment. If you look at television, these quote-unquote reality TV shows, they'll tell you, they'll use the wor words like pr uh, project and experiment. Yeah, very robotic, very robotic. And so, um, you know, so there was a clip today where they were sharing of a uh, female who was in Atlanta at an Atlanta nightclub, and they reported in this clip that some dude dropped something in a drink and proceeded to try to rape her on the dance floor, son. Like, see, this is my thing, man. This is my thing, all right? 
black women, black women, y'all can understand it's a war going on right now. And, and yeah, it may not be no uh, war like what you what you envision it to be, but there is a silent war going on right now. You understand what I'm saying? And black women, I don't understand why y'all be going places without large amounts of people, man. Like y'all should not be going nowhere where it's just one or two females. Y'all should not be going nowhere where, you know what I mean? Y'all should almost have to take your gay male friend with you. Take your gay dude with you. You understand what I'm saying? Don't be out here by yourselves, man. Don't be out here with, with that, you know what I mean? Especially if you if you get a if a dude get away buy you a drink, man, you need to watch, you need to watch that 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 bartender pour that drink. You understand what I'm saying? And get that glass and get that cup in your hand. Like you shouldn't like, come on, man. You you supposed we supposed to be grown here. You don't take no no drink from no dude. You don't even know it. Just man in the club because these niggas is weirdos, man. These niggas are lame. These niggas are moist. These niggas are soft. These niggas have no game. They have no way of talking to you. They have no way of communicating. You know what I mean? So only way that these people understand things is by trying to take something. And so, man, the thing is, like, what what also puzzles 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 me is how they're able to show this stuff on social media and they don't take it down. Like it shouldn't even be like it's like they wait for it to go viral or they wait for it to be seen by large amounts of people and then they want to try to take it down. I'm trying to. It's part of the experiment. If you don't know, man, this social media has third party entities. When you post something, and I'm not trying to get my shit cut off right now, but you have people that work for the social medias that that um, gauge and watch your page. They watch what you're putting up. And if you say too much, if you cuss too much, if you use all these uh, terms that they feel are not good, they will block you or they will not show stuff to you. There's stuff that I have that I post every day and I know it's not reaching all these uh, cyberspace friends, quote unquote, that I have. And I'm saying like, y'all, we got to be more cautious out here. And it's like, man, you know, and, and I know it's hard. I know it's hard. I'm telling you, when I saw when, when, when people were putting up, yeah, man, don't watch the clip. If you put this up, I'm like, man, I ain't gonna lie. I'm like, uh, somebody shared the clip. Somebody share the clip, please. You know what I mean? And that may sound bad, but it's like I had to watch the clip. And I, I mean, you know, my video, it, it froze up on me. Like, me, to be honest with you, I don't even know if I really wanted to see it. I mean, you got some people saying that, you know what I mean, that this female was on the dance floor with this dude. He supposedly raped her on the dance floor. I don't know how the hell that happened. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I guess he, like, sexually assaulted her, like, starting from the dance floor. And you kind of see where he's kind of close to her and all these other things. But it's like, man, how do you go anywhere in a club and you're able to do that? How are you able to go into the bathroom? How are you able to go anywhere and ain't nobody secured? Ain't none of this shit looking like. I'm telling you, man, we do things, man, that are very, like, we, we still suffer from slave syndrome, man. We still suffer from slavery out here. So a lot of things that we don't do, we should be doing. And, and, and it's like when it comes to these clips that they keep posting and all this other shit, man, I don't think we should, man, we shouldn't even be watching it. You understand what I'm saying? You shouldn't even be watching it. <clears throat> because it's like once you watch it, you become part of the experiment. And I know it's hard because I'll be, I be doing the same thing too, man. Very hard. You understand what I'm saying? And it's like like what my man Antonio is saying, man, it's like we become robotic. You understand what I'm saying? We become robotic when it comes to things that we should be, you know, do or not doing. You know what I mean? So when that clip dropped, man, everybody trying to watch that clip. Everybody trying to watch that clip. As soon as that clip became hot on Facebook, everybody trying to watch this goddamn clip. <clears throat> then you watch the clip and you like, nigga, I shouldn't be watching this shit. I shouldn't be watching none of this shit. And then you keep watching, like, come on, man, like, shit, this shit is very hard, I heard B. Very hard. You understand what I'm saying? It's hard, man. Now, let something like that happen to one of these white girls out here. That video will be, as soon as that video hits anywhere near being viral or shit, even if it hits a thousand people, I guarantee within the next two to three hours from that clip dropping, that clip will be unavailable. Think I'm playing. Think I'm bullshitting. 
but they let they let that shit ride with us all day. Clips of being raped, clips of being beat up, clips clips of being shot. You know what I'm saying? Now they they they'll show clips of white people getting ate up by animals. They'll show that shit all day. They'll show clips of white people, uh, you know, they'll show clips of white people petting animals and getting chewed up and shit. You know, they'll show clips of white people getting hit by cars and trains and all this other shit. But when it comes to white people either getting beat up or the, matter of fact, they even let the, they even let that shit continue with the with the white dude that hit that little hit that little 12 year old girl out there in what was that north carolina south carolina they let that shit ride they ain't took that shit down they ain't took it down you know what i'm saying but let but let that have let that been a black dude hitting a little white girl shit nigga. and then people always you know people be out here talking about race don't matter nigga what kind of live world are you living in race don't matter nigga everything matters when it comes to race you understand what I'm saying? Nigga, everything comes to that. I don't give a fuck. People talking about black, white, don't matter, and blah, blah, blah. Nigga, please stop. Everything matters when it comes to us, man. You know what I'm saying? That's how they're able to get away with a lot of this shit they do to us because even black people, and I'm talking to the coons, I'm talking to the bed winches. Y'all, the reason why shit continues to happen to black people and they get away with it. Because they put you niggas on a pedestal and give you niggas a platform, and then you niggas are able to talk that shit. And what about that black on black crime? I'm done. It, look, if you a black on black crime type nigga, you automatically put in that coon box. I'm telling you that right now. You automatically put into a coon box if you talking that black on black crime shit. I'm telling you that right now. Because black on black crime ain't the main reason why black people are killing each other. It ain't. It ain't. And if you ain't been around enough black people, then shit, then you, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna never know why. You understand what I'm saying? It's a systematic thing, man. It ain't got nothing to do with no black on black shit, man. Be honest with you. Check the stats. Since niggas want to be statistical, check the stats, man. Black people ain't killing black people like that, like that no more. You look at the stats in California. These niggas ain't killing, Bloods and Crips ain't killing each other like that. You know what I'm saying? From my home city, Naptown, yeah, niggas are still killing each other in Nap. Nah, I'm not gonna lie. But you know what I'm saying? A lot a lot of that comes from beefs and you know what I'm saying? You got you got you got dudes that was raised with that single mother syndrome. So they 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 always ready to be on some type of hood shit and all this other shit and act like, you know, females, man. So these niggas have estrogen and all this other extra shit up in their fucking system. Excuse my language. So understand what's happening out here. If you see any of these clips, man, if you see any of these clips, man, you know what I mean? Report that shit. Don't let that shit go viral, man. Don't let it go viral, man. Like, I, I get it talking about it and everything, and that's cool. But, man, don't make these clips go viral, man. Don't make these type of clips go viral because at the end of the day, they would not show this shit. If it was, if, even if they were Hispanic, they would have shown this shit. You know what I mean? I don't know how people, I don't know how they get it. Well, I do understand, but they get away with a lot of shit. You see sometimes on these, on these, on your timeline, you see them putting up clips of, look like motherfuckers over in another uh, country shooting and beating the shit out of women and, and, and they, and they, and they let the shit ride. I'm like, how the fuck are they showing this shit on, on social media? Nigga, this shit should not be on there, but they let it ride. I did not watch the video. I'm not watching. I'm not. And I'm not going. You know. I'm not even going to partake in trying to watch the full video of it. You understand what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Because nowadays, man, they just try to cloud this shit, man. So they don't. They make it seem like you're not able to tell what's what. You know, should a dude be drugging a female in the club? Man, hell no. Nah. These niggas is moist. So you always got to be on alert, women. Stay woke. And that's another thing. That's another thing. I'm tired. I'm tired of niggas out here talking about bullshit, 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 bullshit. And then they try to be funny by saying hashtag stay woke. Not you, Antonio. You, you, you good people, my nigga. So I already know you. I can tell you on that. You on that. You on that shit. You on that real shit. But it's other people out here, man, that be talking that coonery. And then they be trying to be funny, talking about stay woke. Nah, nigga, you stay sleep. How about that? Because here in a minute, they're going to have something for your black ass. 
you stay sleeping. When you open up your mouth, trying to come run the run back to black people thinking we gonna open up our arms and accept your buffoonery nigga no that's why i'm man i'm hoping i'm praying to god man that we that that there's a list there should be a list created a list that has coons and bed winches on it in every city so when you get so when you come around to every city you know what kind of niggas you dealing with in that city so if you see these niggas, then you know what kind of shit they on. Because a lot of these niggas out here, they be they be acknowledging that they coons. You understand what I'm saying? A lot of these niggas be telling you that they coons. I ain't going for that shit, man. You understand what I'm saying? Be careful out here. Like my man say, stay woke. You understand what I'm saying? Keep keep that knowledge building. Keep building out here. You know. That blood moon, that blood moon out here is, is going to get everybody acting crazy. I'm telling you that shit right now. That blood moon is going to have motherfuckers wilding out. You know what I'm saying? I can already see the kids is wilding out already from that blood moon, man. And, and if you don't think that has nothing to do with what's going on in the atmosphere, stay asleep, nigga. Hashtag stay asleep. But, yo, that's all I got, man. You know what I'm saying? Holla at your boy. I got a couple shows coming up. If you're in the San Antonio area. You know what I mean? One, Valentine's Day. The other one, March 29th. They both going to be the shiz naive. You know what I'm saying? Come on out. Enjoy yourself. You know what I'm saying? Let's have some fun. You know what I mean? Holla at your boy. Hit me up on my hashtag. It's the best way to look up all my social media. Hashtag WTF. You are P-R-B-L-E-M-B. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking to try to, you know, get some of this, uh, some of this merchandise and some of these, some of these, uh, you know, t-shirts and shit popping. So be on the lookout for that. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, just hit me up, man. Comedianjscott.com. Go to my website. You understand? A nigga got a website. So if you, if you, if you an entertainer, if you ain't got no website, if you ain't got no business cards, if you ain't got nothing trying to sell you, nigga, you a knuckle dragger. How about that? You give a fuck how many shows you do, nigga. Where's your website, nigga? You ain't got no website, nigga. Just keep dragging your motherfucking knuckles, nigga. How about that? Let me calm down. I'm out, man. Hashtag, what the fuck's your problem be? ComedianJScott.com, man. I'm out, man. Y'all be cautious, man. Peace.